The chair of St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church Council, Bob Steele, says their congregation is more like a family. The family has recently been faced with a tough reality. The operation of this church at over 16,000 square feet with the size of our family it's just not cost efficient for us any, any longer. Penelope Shaw has been St. Paul's treasurer since 2011. I can see numbers and I had to be realistic and we just had to have a conversation and make a decision. That decision was to put the church on the market. It was the hardest decision that we've ever had to make to close this building. It's been our home for almost 90 years. The church is over 16,000 square feet. It is on the market for 5.8 million. Um, it does seem like a lot, but you have to take into consideration that this is zoned tourist commercial. Um, most churches are zoned institutional. The congregation has decided it will not keep the money and most of it will go to local charities. We have already talked to the city about Hospice Niagara Falls, to which we will definitely be donating some of the money to them, as well as other charities that we have donated to over the years. The congregation here at St. Paul says they have created memories here that they will hold dear to their hearts forever. Favorite time of the year in this church was Christmas Eve, when everybody came in and there was a lot of people here. I belong to the choir, my brother, my mother, my mom and dad sang duets, uh, my dad wrote music. I've been here all my life. My family started in the 30s in the church. St. Paul's Secretary Deborah Steele's family history lives in the church walls. And this window was donated, it's the wedding of Canaan. And it was one of my f grandfather's favorite Sunday school stories. He was a Sunday school teacher for years. And my great uncle was the superintendent of the Sunday school for many, many years. There are no historical protections on the building. It could be a very exclusive restaurant with a brewery in the bottom or a winery. We're just hoping the, the, the building stays intact. The date of the final service will be chosen after the church has been sold. Anastasia Nochi, CHCH News.